Okay, this is my Kenmore uh, Kenmore front load washer. The logo is sort of worn out there, and as a matter of fact, I can't even get a model number off it because look what happened. Soap and all this stuff. I osphoed a little bit of the rust to try and clean it up and uh, lightly uh, spray painted it to slow down the rust a bit. And that works for a little while. The hinges were pretty much shot when I got them. Uh, I took them off and uh, and lubed them up and uh, so they they work now basically when I got it, the whole door was sprung. It's a pretty good machine. It's got a nice tight uh, bearing, large size. Uh, they told me it was leaking. And uh, so I checked the boot real good and uh, didn't see any leaks anywhere on the boot. Took the bottom panel off and uh, looked down there and it was leaking sort of between the boot and the... Uh, the cement balance uh, weight and so uh, I took uh, I took the whole front panel off <clears throat> I took this whole front panel off and uh, then I took the the weight uh, balance off and then what I found was <clears throat> part of the cement weight balance had fallen had cracked and started rubbing a hole in the in the tub in a plastic tub and so uh, I basically cleaned it up real good and epoxied it ran a load and it works fine it doesn't leak and so anyway next I want to tell you guys about this uh, this these Maytag performas you know or whatever they are this one here is uh, it's not a it doesn't say performa but it's very similar to uh, the old Montgomery Ward style inside with these kinds of pumps on them and if you look between the pulley and the 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 mount sometimes you'll see a little uh, skirt it looks like a piece of plastic can or a piece of something that gets stuck in between the pulley and the mount and then that'll that'll hang the pump up so it won't spin. It's supposed to spin pretty freely. And uh, if there's any tension on it, of course you can look inside and see if there's any debris in there. Um, and uh, ironically, on uh, a couple of these, I've had a problem with uh, these pumps going bad. And I'll replace the pump, and of course you got to re replace the belt because the belt usually wears on it. And uh, and unfortunately, there was a problem with the transmission. It was an intermittent problem with the transmission. So I got a belt and a, another pump in the thing, and then I like find out that the transmission hung up. I, I did a brief spin check on it and left. And uh, later, the uh, my neighbor called me and said, "No, it's not working again. It's not spinning out." So I look down there, and what these things do, they'll burn the pulley on the motor. It's a, sort of a nylon pulley on the motor. If you see that, you likely you got a bad transmission. It's too bad. You know, these things are really uh, big. Um, I've never seen any problem with the agitators. Huge tub on this thing. But it just, uh, I think people tend to overload the thing. And... Uh, and when they overload it, of course, you know, it's going to put strain on the transmission. So, so watch out for these things. Usually when I see these puppies, I, uh, I pretty much, uh, you know, have to, have to uh, say no. Uh, yeah, just say no, right? Anyway, so that's your tip for today. Hope you enjoyed it.